Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to connect your wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse on your PlayStation 5 so you can play games like Call of Duty or even Fortnite or Minecraft. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So I have this wireless keyboard right here and I do have a wired mouse but it's gonna be the same process when you're connecting a wireless mouse to your PlayStation 5. Now, the first thing we wanna go ahead and do is turn on our wireless device. So I have my keyboard here, and on the back, there is a little on-off switch right here. All I have to do is flip it, then it's turned off, and then I'm gonna turn it on, and the light should be on right here. So, now on our PlayStation 5 controller, let's go to this and go to the home screen and then go up to settings, then scroll on down to accessories and go over to Bluetooth accessories. And we can see our registered accessories for Bluetooth, my wireless controller. Now go over to your wireless device and you have to find a way to put it into the Bluetooth pairing mode or the sync mode. For this keyboard, I believe it's the FN key and there's a little Bluetooth symbol right here. I press these at the same time this will put it into the Bluetooth pairing mode. The light is flashing. So you may have to look this up online for your, your mouse and just figure out how to do this. Then go to accessories found and select X on it with your controller. And it says, please wait. Now enter the following pass key on the Bluetooth device. You can just type it in on the keyboard. So eight, two, five, one, eight, nine, press enter, and my device is now registered. So maybe a little bit different for your wireless mouse, but that's how you do it on the keyboard. And now I can use the keys on here, and I can move around, and some of the keys might be a little bit different for you, but escape will be back. Let's see what delete does. Lock button, mm, let's see if any of these work for anything. I don't see anything, so tab, command. One of these might bring open the home screen or the quick menu, nothing. So let's go back to Call of Duty. So let's go ahead and just connect my wired mouse line to my PlayStation 5. And there's tons of USB ports on it. On the back here we have two and we have one in the front. So I'm gonna connect that. You can see the symbol on the top here when you connect the device. So this has the wired mouse and the Bluetooth keyboard. Now the cursor should work, but in most games you do have to go to the options before you start the game. So if I go to options right here, and then go to like controller or input or something like that, and you'll have to switch it over from controller to mouse and keyboard, and it should work now. So if I'm using the WASD keys, you can see it's moving on the screen. I believe space will be jump, just like that. So your Bluetooth device should now be working and you should be able to play Call of Duty rather effectively now. So this is actually really easy to do. And if you press the PlayStation button and you go on over to accessories under the quick menu, you should see your keyboard in here and you can go to turn off and then you can go to keyboard settings. Then you have type English, key repeat normal, key repeat rate normal, then you go to mouse, you go to type right hand or left handed, pointer speed normal. So those are all the options for us under here. So that's how you would do that. So it's easy connecting your mouse and keyboard to your PlayStation 5. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.